Hey guys, it's Rochelle and Mr. Chris, Mr. Hubby, Mr. Chris, Mr. Claire, Chris, your name Chris. All right, Chris, Chris. <laughs> my husband. So today I'm going to be doing my newborns must have video and I was going to do it solo, but he wanted to be a part of it. <laughs> you wanted me to be part of it. No, I didn't. It was okay. going to be my video alone, but well, you're like, oh, I should be a part of it because I use the products too. You know what? It's better to get two takes on it because we both use the products all the time. And that way you guys get a better idea of pros and cons. Because I can't give them a good idea on my own. Pros well, and cons. you could, but I make it all that much better. So that's what I'm here for. No. Okay. You just give the guys perspective, the dad. Well, there's, I'm sure there's some dads watching too. So, but most of the stuff is like. I use them. So we're just gonna show you guys the products that we love and then we're gonna do another video with all the products that was just a waste of mm -hmm. money. Pure waste. Pure waste. So guys, our favorite, favorite product that we love is the Nose Frida Baby. Nose Frida Babies. A lot of times, baby Margot or your babies, I'm sure, has a hard time breathing at night or even throughout the day. They get stuffed up, they can't really blow their noses. So basically, if you don't know what this does, is you Stick this in the baby's nose and then you put this in your mouth and you blow or you suck. No, you suck. You suck and you basically you suck, suck, the, the, boogers you suck the boogers out when they can't breathe very good. This is a lifesaver, literally, because a lot of times baby can't breathe. And exactly. honestly, it works so good. It has this little filter thingy in here. So if you're like watching this, you're like, ew, gross. I don't get boogers in my mouth. Yeah. You're not going to get any boogers in your mouth at all because there's a little filter that stops exactly. the booger exactly. <laughs> from going into and your nose. Sometimes it's kind of dry. So to help it, guys, use this. Salinex. It's like saline drops. And you first put a few drops in your baby's nose in each nostril. Let it sit there for maybe like a minute and then it just kind of helps pull stuff out when you're trying to suck it out. Yeah, we use this a lot, a lot, you guys. And we have other um, nose We've tried things. other, we have other ones. Like, we have a little electric one, we've got... Um, it's not electric, it was battery A battery power, electric, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. But this is actually by far the best one. Yeah. And it's, I think it's the cheapest too. It's right? the cheapest, it's the best. I don't know how much it costs, I, but I it's I can't amazing. remember how much I paid for this, but I will just put the price of everything in the video, but it was a lot cheaper than the other ones that we have, and we don't even use the other ones that we have. This is just, oh, love it so much. Mm. So we love the Snugga Puppy Fisher Price Swing. That thing is like... Lifesaver. Lifesaver. <laughs> so basically it's a swing when your baby's kind of she just wants to be kind of put down or you want to put her down or him down and you got nowhere to put them, you put them in this little swing. Yeah, this swing is amazing, you guys. And it's like... I got this when she was like, what? A couple weeks old. Yeah. A couple weeks old, but I'm telling you, for us, it was so worth it. I actually get a lot of a lot done with this thing. You put her in, she falls asleep, and you can go do your chores and get some work done. It's amazing, I love it. It does have a white noise, and it has different musical settings. settings. Which However, is huge. We, we never really use them though. We use the, the, oh no, you know what? We don't use the sounds on it because we have a separate machine for the white noise, mm -hmm. because it's even louder. And Margot loves like really loud white noise. Yeah. But it's still nice to have on this um, on the swing. Yeah. So it's got the white noise. It's got other types of noises. Uh, it's so like cozy. She loves it. It's tilted in the right kind of position where it's not too flat on her back and not too tilted up where she's going to slide out. It secures her nicely. It's got different rocking speeds too. So yeah. sometimes the baby wants it to be slow. Sometimes it wants it fast. Anyways, we tried so many different rocking machines. Probably at least three, I'd say. Yeah, and this one, and she this loves is her favorite it. one. This is her favorite. Now, keep in mind, you guys, your baby might not like every product that our baby loves. Every baby's different, right? So we're just telling you what works for our, us. What works for us and what our baby loves. The nursing pillow. I love this nursing pillow. It is my absolute favorite. This is it right here, and this is my breast friend nursing pillow how do you spell it tell them how you spell it breast b-r-e my breast friend breast yeah. anyways i freaking love this thing so much you guys like it is amazing ouch <laughs> uh, because it goes around my waist like this and i can just buckle it in 
like that. And so you guys free. see me on Instagram with it. Oh. And baby Margot just sits right here and my hand is there holding her. But this is just amazing. I freaking love it. I used to have, no, I still have it. So I have the boppy pillow, which is this guy right here. So this is my boppy pillow. And this is what I originally was using to breastfeed her. However, it doesn't stay on your waist. It literally like falls off. Um, and I can't walk around with my breast pillow like that. <laughs> so this is the boppy. And when I put it on, like... It's not secure. It's like, not very secure. Like it's just... It can fall off. It's not as big. You don't have a, a wide enough platform to really put the baby on comfortably. I mean... Because you know so much about breast pillow. Well, I... <laughs> there half the time so i see what's going on yeah so this is the boppy i will say that the boppy is nicer looking so they have like these really nice design covering on the boppy pillow the my breast friend it's true if you care <laughs> about this stuff at... my breast friend pillow they don't have the nicest you know cover yeah it's not cute it's but not it works cutest, it's about functionality but it works, it works. Um, so I have my boppy and I still use it like, you know, to have her sit up in it. But this good. one I use like 90% of the time. I even have a little holder here. Like if I want to put a cup or something in there. Oh, true. I didn't notice yeah, that. Yeah, this, this is amazing, you guys. But my first daughter, I had one of these and I thought it was the most amazing thing in the world until I discovered this one. This is way, <laughs> way better. Like I love it. Next is onesies. Onesies. So yeah, we love onesies. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I post videos of Margot all the time and she's forever in onesies mm -hmm. because they're easy. It's way easier. <laughs> and guys, you know when you have a newborn, all they do is poo and pee all day long. Mm -hmm. So you're changing diapers 24 seven. 24 seven. So instead of trying to take off a shirt and take off your pants and take off underwear and, or not underwear, but <laughs> three different layers or whatever, yeah. you got a onesie, you can Ooh. kind of open up the buttons or zippers or whatever you have, yeah. take off the the diapers, change it and put it back on without having to take your whole clothes off. Yeah. So it's way easier, it's way quicker. Easier. Baby clothes make absolutely no Doesn't sense. Doesn't make any sense. Especially for a newborn. <laughs> so, onesies, buttons or zippers? zippers? Definitely zippers, you guys. Yeah. Zippers are amazing, right. fast. Zip it up, zip it up, zip it down done we don't know why they even bother with the buttons, the buttons. because it's just it's just like, too long and at night you're fumbling, fumbling around and you're trying to button things up and then it's not in the right order and then they have a big gap or something yeah especially just... when you're tired and you're like waking up in the middle of the night to change diapers like you don't have to deal with the little buttons like that's annoying and... yeah the but... <laughs> <laughs> listen my lace was lifting you guys what are you laughing at? <laughs> okay so next is our diaper bag i love the diaper bag Okay. Do you guys see his reaction to the diaper bag? Okay, guys, look at this. I don't want to be wearing this thing in public, honestly. Why? Because look at it. Like, what do you call these things? Like, turn around. Like, look at this. Do I want to be? <laughs> do I want to wear this in public? No, I don't. <laughs> right? It's cute. You're a hater. <laughs> no, I just. Uh, anyways. I love it. It is pretty functional. It holds all your stuff. Yeah, it's very functional. It's just not his style. Not um, my style. I yeah. couldn't even find a good style. Actually, I really didn't look. You didn't she like just any it. of them. Yeah, true. I, I was like showing him a whole bunch, and he did not like any of them. So I figured just get a black one because it will go with everything. I get one with all the frills and. I have to get something oh with gold and frills. So this is the itsy ritzy <laughs> backpack, you guys. I will say it's very big, though. It is very it's big. big, but. You know, I carry a lot of stuff in here, so therefore, like, it works out. I love it. They should have more of, like, styles and colors. They that do would be have more a They have a lot of different colors. Appealing to people who aren't so flashy, because it's very flashy. It's not flashy. It's flashy. It is not. And I have these little separate container things. So this one has her diapers. This one will have change of clothes. Yeah, show them the... So this is really... We're doing a horrible job trying to sh showcase this, but... Okay, I'm getting some there. Yeah. So there's lots of little pockets and stuff. Even on the side, you can see pockets up in there. More pockets. More pockets. A couple big pockets there. A big one in here. And it comes with a mat. And it comes... Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. He didn't know that because he don't use it. Appreciate the bag. Appreciate the bag. <laughs> so you got a big side pocket here. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, I guess. Uh -huh. Yeah, I love it's it, guys. Right. It, it's all right. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Bibs. Bibs are actually super important if you don't have a baby already if you do have a baby you'll know exactly what we're talking about if you don't have a bib basically your child's shirt is going to get soaked and then it stays wet and then give her a cold or whatever and obviously we don't want that so 
our child drools like 24 7. Drooly, booly, drools. Drooly, we actually gave her a name, Drooly, booly, because she drools so much. But there, we have like a ton of bibs. Yeah. The most important thing, guys, get a bib that's waterproof. Yeah. Because otherwise, what happens is you drool on the bib, it goes it through goes the right bib, through. and then it gets through her shirt, and then it defeats the purpose. Yeah. But get one that's kind of thick. And the ones that we are using right now, they're thick, kind of like fluffy, so they absorb a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, it's like plastic. So yeah. it doesn't really go through. So we have the Tommy Tiffy one, which is just cloth like bib. And they work, but I still find that the drool and puke go right through and then it just messes up her clothes exactly. and it's all wet. And I don't want her chest to be all wet, right? Mm. So I actually went to Walmart and I got some bibs from Walmart. So guys, this is the bib we're talking about and this is what the front looks like. And then the back is just a plastic. Like plastic. And guys, it's so cheap. We actually got it from Walmart. Yeah. It's, the brand is George. George. So they're like the cheapest and the best. Yeah, like they're, they're not as thick actually. They're not as thick as the Tommy Tippy ones. And um, they don't have the little kind of drool guard, which is kind of nice. I do like the fact that the Tommy Tippy has that drool It's a drool guard, guard, I guess. But it still goes through. It goes through. It still goes so through. So their shirts are going to get wet. They're not anyways. bad, but it still goes through. But I do like the water resistant ones a yeah. lot better. So oh. we're going to talk about the silicone breast pump. So you guys know I am exclusively breastfeeding, mm -hmm. not by choice. <laughs> <laughs> Our daughter does not want to take a bottle, okay? Yeah. We... My my plan is to breastfeed. That is definitely my plan for a year, but she does not want to take the bottle whatsoever. However, so I was using the silicone breast pump, and this is for you moms out there who is, you know, breastfeeding and pumping. This right here is actually amazing. It is amazing. I think I spent like $20 Canadian on this. It's portable. You just pop it onto your boob like that and it will catch your milk. Like it really helps with your milk flow. And considering that this is not like a electric pump, it, like it actually is amazing. Like I love this. And yeah. this one is the Nature Bond. I actually own both the Hacker and the Nature Bond and they pretty much work the exact same. And if you are bottle feeding, breastfeeding, get this so when your baby is on the boob you can have this one on the other boob that way you're not wasting any of your milk your milk goes into the boob while baby is on the other so i was trying to feed her with a bottle so that's why i have it and i'm not giving up on the bottle just yet stick it on there and pump and whatever yeah because and you it's have, like you'd be breastfeeding and you can pour it <laughs> and pour it right into the bottle and then you're good to go exactly so, so as we mentioned before our baby loves the white noise she loves white noise machines. I think most babies do, yeah, actually. Yeah, most babies do. I think most babies do. Like, my first, um, I never really used one. It wasn't a thing. I didn't even know anything about white noise. Some babies just don't need a white noise machine. Okay, like, fine. anywho, this is the one that I use right now. So this one is the Hush white noise machine. And I actually have the Hatch white noise machine. This is the Hatch. And then this is the Hush. And we get a lot of use out of this one because it is portable. So we can carry it all over the house. It's really small. Yeah, we click it onto the bassinet. And it's loud. That's the main thing about this that we love it. Uh -huh. It's. I love this one so much. It's because it is portable. And it's so small. It's so small. Like and it's even loud. in the car, like she's not the greatest in the car. Not and yet. we just bring this in the car and she gets quiet and goes mm -hmm. to sleep. I love these, okay? Why because, do you love it so much? Because we use this as a burp cloth. She, when was the last time you used it as a burp cloth? It's been a while. Okay, but guys, we change her we she's change her upgraded on to bibs. So you put but, the bibs on her, on her and these, she though. burps on her bib now. We well, change. okay guys, yeah. We do, we change her on the bed and we put this on the bed so she doesn't get doo doo on the bed. <laughs> and then and that's it, and then she's good. Yeah. But any cloth, any little blanket will do fine. Because we don't really use the changing table that much. Cause it's in the nursery. How often are we really in the nursery? Change her in the nursery like probably once a day in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then throughout the day, I have her on one of these, but we still use one of those like, um, those mat, those changing mats. Yeah. I just don't want her bum to touch the changing mat. I'd rather touch the soft cloth. So yeah, I love these. I love these. And they, oh yeah, you know what guys, if your baby loves being swaddled, these are amazing for swaddling your baby. Our baby doesn't like being swaddled. She hates being swaddled. She hates it. But yeah. if you have a swaddler, 
my guess. This is amazing okay. for somebody who likes to swaddle. Their baby loves swaddling. Yeah. Yeah, the diaper pail. The Ubi diaper pail. We love it. It's really good. They've got a bunch of cool different colors. We went the powder pink because it yeah. kind of matches her, her room, room a little yeah. bit. Um, it's got a slide open like lid. So when you drop the diaper in there, you can slide it closed and it's like locked, almost airtight. And honestly, we've never smelt. Yeah, never smelt. We've never smelt a diaper. I mean, we Ever. smell her poop, but once it's in the diaper bin, you do not smell anything. That's what I really, really love about it. And being that this is my second child, with my first baby, I had the diaper genie, you guys. And the diaper genie, the things that I dislike about the diaper genie is you have to use the diaper genie bags. And that can be pricey mm. when you keep replacing the bags. You know, however, with the Ubi diaper bin, you can use any garbage any bags, bag. any bags, and it holds a lot more diaper as well. And I literally, we don't smell anything. Keep in Never. mind, our baby is a breastfeeding baby and she's not mm. eating solids yet. She's three months old. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah. for now, we don't smell anything. It's, it's amazing. Perfect. I it's love perfect. it. Okay, so next is the baby carrier, the Infantino baby carrier. So this is the baby carrier that we're using, and you guys, I love it. Babes, you love this. Yeah, I do like it. Don't sound too excited now. <laughs> I'm not that excited. It says I like it, I don't love it. <laughs> you know why you don't love it that much? Why? Because you don't use it. I'm the one you know who's why? always using it. All right, guys, so I like it, but there is one thing I don't like about it. What don't you like about it? It actually, Okay, so it, it's, it fits on well, it gives my baby good support, but it hurts my back a little bit. You got a lot of weight kind of going forward, so your back's kind of being pushed forward or pulled forward, and I don't think I have a weak back. My back's pretty good, <laughs> but after about 10, 15 minutes, my back starts to get a little sore. So I don't know if it's a design or if I need to go back into the gym or what. It's Guys, I wear this too, and I personally love it because <sighs> I can carry her around in this and get some chores done. Yeah, that's like, so it's really kind of handy and you can have her facing forward or backwards and gives her good head and neck support. Yeah, so. and it's, it's like, it's still pretty soft, which is good. So I like that about it. Um, for me, it doesn't hurt my back. It hurts his back, but. A little bit. After yeah, about a week. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. A week back. <laughs> so guys, we're using the Skip Hop bathtub it's a three stages bathtub no, before that and i'm gonna tell them so before that we were using the little flower boom what, 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 what i think we were just up? doing it in the sink weren't we we are but we, we no beforehand we were just putting her like butt naked in the sink we did not put her butt naked in the sink <laughs> what i'm pretty sure she we did. was never butt naked in the sink she was in that little cute flower i have videos to prove it you oh the little flower Okay. But butt naked in the sink. What the <laughs> hell? You know, her little nasty booty on the sink and... It was pretty close. The sink that I'm cooking for. Ugh. So we put her like... It's called the Blooming Bath. So this is what we were using before. The Blooming Bath. And we had it in the sink and we would put her in the sink to give her a bath. However, there was not much support on her no back. Support. And no support whatsoever. And she just like sitting there and like flopping around and you kind of have to now balance her and run the water. It's really a two man job to bathe the baby. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's a three stages bathtub. So it kind of reclines and it gives her back a lot of support. So support. that's the reason why we love it so much. It's soft, it's partially submerged and it's already, it's like a, a floating, a partially floating mat within a bathtub. Yeah. You'll see it in the video. Yeah, we'll, we'll show and you And it's like, she'll, your baby will be like partially submerged in the water, which is great. Yeah. And so there's always water in there. You can just pick up the water out of the tub and rinse her. And yeah, and she loves like it. Like she loves it. Bath time is amazing. Yeah. She actually really, really loves it. So we have Vaseline. We love Vaseline. Because <laughs> it goes on everything. We use it for everything, you guys. So, anyway, so for her diaper, I mainly use yeah, Vaseline because I don't use a diaper rash cream. Again, this is, you know, you can do whatever you want with your baby. I'm just doing what I want with my baby and what works. I use the Vaseline. I don't use a diaper rash cream. Unless she has a diaper rash, then I would use some diaper rash cream. Mm -hmm. But she has never had a diaper rash, thank God. Mm -hmm. So, the Vaseline does the trick. I use this with my first baby as well. I use only Vaseline. And Margot has very, very sensitive skin, you guys. Hi, Whoa. Simba. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, look at this. What the heck? Has very sensitive skin as well. We've tried different products to bathe her with, to apply lotion, and the lotion, her skin just 
does not react yeah, very well to lotion. Your skin. So we use this when you're changing your diaper, you put this on and then basically after a bath or something, you just use a little bit and just kind of moisturize her whole, whole skin and it works yeah. great. And this is what our pediatrician recommended as well. Um, she does have eczema every now and then mm -hmm. and her skin is very sensitive. So I find that this works very, very well. So yeah, that is pretty much all our favorite products that we love. So oh. I'm gonna have all the products in my description box down below. I do have a Amazon store as well, so I will add them to my store and you guys can go ahead and check them out. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. He will be in the next video about the regrets and dislikes. Oh yeah, and I got a lot the to say The product that those. we waste our money on. Yeah, <laughs> so we'll see you guys in another video very, very soon. I love you guys so much and thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. I was going to. Bye. <laughs>